WhatsApp. This is not just about life in Germany, okay? It is actually lifestyle, generally. How to protect yourself from getting your account hacked because I got hacked and it was not pleasant. It was not funny. I thought I was losing it. Hi, my wonderful people. How are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. As you can see, I am well. I am good. In a great mood. The storm is over, all right? It is over. So, if you are new to my channel, my name is Phoebe. This is the Phoebe Way. On the Phoebe Way, we talk about life in Germany, how to settle in Germany, how to make your life in Germany easy, you know, settling in Germany legally and all of that. We share tips here and all of the good stuff. Anything life in Germany, this is your girl, I'm your plug, all right? So, don't go anywhere, subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. I have videos on what I like about Germany, what I don't like, what you should know before you move to Germany, 12 things I love about Germany. I'm just going to leave all the links in the description box down below. Just check all these videos out. I have some German recipes as well. Yes, yeah, so let me know what you want to see on this channel and I'll gladly work on it for you, okay? Today's video is my personal experience with this WhatsApp. WhatsApp. This is not just about life in Germany, okay? It is actually lifestyle, generally. How to protect yourself from getting your account hacked because I got hacked and it was not pleasant. It was not funny. I thought I was losing it, basically. I thought I was going mad, you know? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the tactics that they use, their modus operandi, and then I'm going to tell you what you should do to... Um, once it, it happens to you and number three how to prevent it. It's actually very easy to prevent it Stay tuned to the end with me and let's get right into this and a of course get yourself something to drink I have some coffee here Let's start so What they do is they will send you a message from a contact number after they have been hacked, right? So they hack your contacts. They send the message. They say um Hi, sorry, I sent you my six digit code by mistake. Can you please forward it to me? And then, then they'll add the line, something like, it's urgent. So that gives you that sense of urgency, like, oh, my friend is in distress, I should help them out. And that is that was the mistake that I made. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and send her the, mess, the six digit code. And it was actually my WhatsApp code, but I didn't even read that. At that moment, I was also distracted. I wasn't really, um, really present in that moment so please if you get any messages from people that you normally don't even talk to take your time and read it okay don't be hasty about um replying and doing what they're asking you to do because that moment i was honestly quite distracted because i was in a conversation with somebody in front of me as well so after the person had gotten off the train i was like oh why would i even give her the six digit code because if she confirms it that she has the code it means that whatever that whatever account that she's trying to confirm is tied to my number so she would have to keep coming back so i was going to tell her that hey you have to change the number because it's going to come keep coming and then as i was trying to log into whatsapp to tell her that i was logged out i had been logged out and then i was getting calls i have never asked whatsapp to call me before to tell me my code i usually use the um, text um, option but WhatsApp was, I was getting calls that looked like WhatsApp was calling me with the lady's voice, like an automated voice, saying numbers. I tried to enter those numbers. I still couldn't log in. And then, as you are trying to log in with the wrong pin, you know, WhatsApp extends the time that you can try again. So it went from 10, I think it went from 5 to 10 minutes, and then it went to an hour, and then to 2, and then to 4, and then to 6, and then boom, 12 hours. I was logged out. That's when it dawned on me, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't die <that> finish <laughs> and I started panicking because of my contacts <sighs> the last person I had contacted that time was my, my partner so I called him I was like hey this is what has happened please don't send any code and he had actually already sent it like he had also, also sent his own code and he thought I was in distress as well he was like I was thinking why do you sound so off well I thought well maybe because you were stressed that that's why you sounded off and of course, it's it's natural for me to use his number if I'm trying to register for, register for something. You know when you're try, trying to, you know when you're trying to register for freebies and use your number, use your mom's number, use your dad's number. This is what I normally do too. So I think they thought it was usual. 
but the person sent to my mom as well and my mom also did because she thought maybe i'm getting some freebies somewhere but then she was like you don't talk to me like that hey an african mom i'll be saying hey sorry who, who she raised you you can't you can't say hey sorry to your african mom hello normally you know how how you start now mommy ma please you know those th things so she was like uh -uh, that doesn't sound right so she tried calling my whatsapp line and then the call was going to but it wasn't being paid and she was like oh i think you've been hacked so when i called her on a regular call she was like yes i've seen it but i've sent the number then i started panicking even more one of my friends one of my girls also sent me a message on, on instagram she sent me a screenshot and the, the good thing is that I'm quite multilingual with my contacts, so some people that I normally speak German with were getting English text, and they were like, why is she speaking English with me today? People that I speak other languages with was also getting English, and were like, no, that wasn't right. So that was what warned some people not to, because for, for example, my father-in-law, he called me and said, why am I getting an English text? Which code are you asking for? I said, I'm not asking for any code, please. Don't say anything, you know, so don't reply to that message. So if the number of the victim texts you, you as the recipient, don't react, okay? Don't send anything. But please inform the victim because sometimes they might not know. In my case, I was hacked, I was hacked or I was logged out within five minutes. My partner had sent the message by around 10, 10 a.m. He was logged out by 1 p.m. And after that, his contacts were also um, contacted. Like they, they communicated with, their, with his contacts as well. So... It doesn't always happen immediately. So once you get such a message, the person might not even be aware that this is what is going on. So please try to message them and let them know that they have been hacked. Okay, good. You that have been hacked, you as the victim, what do you do? You go on whatsapp.com, you go on their website, and then you go to where you can actually send them a message. I'm going to um, blend that in somewhere. You go there and then you write in the text um, title, in the subject, you write account hacked, deactivate account, or just say deactivate account, account hacked. Put the deactivate first so that they know this what they have to act on. And then you put your number and your name and whatnot. You put the information there and then you send it. Within some minutes, you'd get a reply from them that it has been done. Then they'll ask you to verify as well. So think about that. This is definitely number one that you should do. Number two, after deactivating, inform your contacts. Let them know that this is what is happening. You shouldn't reply. So send SMSs, calls, and emails. Please do it because you never know who would act upon it, okay? And especially people who are close to you, who care about you, they think you are in trouble and they want to help you. So please inform everybody. I, I called work. I, I called people that I work with, business partners. I called them and said, hey, that's what is happening. Don't act upon any message from my number that sounds like this okay so when i got my whatsapp back i called them or i i texted them like hey i've got it back it's me this this and that so that is what you should do in case you get such a message inform the person whose number sent you the message and if you are the victim deactivate the account so that the, the hacker gets locked out as well you cannot log in if you have been banned from logging in for 12 hours, as it was in my case, but at least the hacker is out, okay? They can't do more damage and inform your people. Mm, nice coffee. Okay, so the next thing is how do you prevent this? How do I prevent this wahala? How you can prevent this is one, Simply enable the two-step verification, two-factor authentication. Please enable it because the hacker might get that six-digit code that you have sent them, but there's one private pin that is known just to you that he will also need that as well. So that is the two steps. So one is the SMS and two will be your personal pin. It's also a six-digit code that the hacker would then have to add. So if they, even if the hacker gets that one, they can't log you out because the second step is still missing, right? So please do that for yourself. And WhatsApp is also so good. They are so generous that they actually remind you that, hey, re-enter it so you don't forget it. So once in a while, once you open your WhatsApp, they ask you, hey, re-enter this code so you do not forget it, okay? So this is what you should be doing. Guys, Try as much as possible not to share um, sensitive information on WhatsApp 
because you never know what the hacker might actually be looking for, what they might have noted, like your credit card numbers and all of that. Please save those informations for other places. In fact, better you do it in person. And if you should ever um, send it by WhatsApp, when you do it, delete it. Delete for both parties, okay? Try as much as possible to be safe on these apps, these communication apps. We have come to the end of today's video. We'll go back to life in Germany next week. So we'll be talking about, um, subsequently we'll be talking about updates on applying to universities in Germany because I have gotten a few questions. So if you have questions on this topic, please either send me an email or comment in the comment section down below so we know, uh, so I know what you want to know and I can incorporate that into the video that I'm planning. And also we'll be talking about living in Germany, relationships, how to find partners. Is it easy when you grow up here? How is life? Look forward to that as well. And uh, if you love this video, let me know what you think. Have you been in such a situation before? Please do the two-step authentication or verification and comment down below. I have done it, okay? I want you guys to stay safe. You could not go through what I went through that day. My head was on fire, basically. I could feel heat in my brain. <laughs> so, please uh, take good care of yourselves. Stay hopeful, stay positive. Keep your distance, wear your mask when you're outside, and this the next man, man, and leaving. My crumb. <laughs>